Gary, what's up, dude? Can't hear you. Looks like it's muted. Oh, can you hear me now? There we go. All right, were you waiting? No, 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 no. I just got on. I, I just got off another call. Sorry. I'm so dumb with Zoom. I screw it up every time. Dude, I got to get one of those hats. Oh, I'll get you one. Dude, those things are, that's sick right yeah. there. That's awesome. I'll get you one. What's been going on, yeah, man? Uh, just craziness. We're, not, we're getting all this freaking snow down here, too. So it's just a madhouse here yeah. at the store. So it's hey, fun. But. I'm looking at your email real quick. So that you said yeah. last night. So you know that you shot me that picture of an am uh, amortization calculator? Yeah. Dude, there's a, you know, if you go on the pro forma, there's a whole amortization tab on that thing. Do you know that? I, yeah, I noticed okay. that after I sent that too. I never really looked at that. I kind of, I knew it was all on there, but. I guess if you, and also too, um, you can download a, there's a app. It's called, if you type in, let's see what it's called. I'll I'll email you the app. I'll email you the app. You can check out. It's like a commercial. It's like a commercial real estate kind of thing, but it's all about. It's got like, okay, easy amortization calculators. You can like <laughs> control button stuff like that. It's pretty simple. But yeah, okay, yeah, send me that for sure. I'll, I'll shoot it to you. It's just easier. You can do it on your phone versus having to like go on you know Google and shit like that. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So walk me through kind of, you know, I know we spoke on the phone just the other day. So like, I'm looking at your email right now, kind of what's, what's like, you know, on your mind about it. Uh -oh, I'm losing you, Gary. Um, The only thing like I told you that was kind of holding me up. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. Um, The only thing that, like I said, right now that's holding me up was just that, um, which I'm going to call the uh, township again um, about that, uh, the uh, usage. Yeah. I uh, just want to make sure that's all good, but um, I wanted you to think about like, what do you think about this an offer like this? Cause I talked to my broker and he said, I kind of insinuated that, you know, offer kind of like this. And he said, he thinks that might work. I mean, what do you think off the bat? Well, I'm looking at, you know, this is probably going to be the biggest key is your debt. Yeah. I didn't want to miss anything. I don't know if I missed anything. And do you, have you spoke with any of your, your lenders on, on the debt side, like figuring out, can you get these terms or is, or is this, is this what you're getting from the guy holding the note? This is what I would offer. Yeah. Like him as the bank. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, let's just do the math. So, I mean, did you run the math on your pro forma? Um, yeah, I did. And I, if I did it right, I mean, I think this is looking at like a 12, 12, 12 cap. Um, yeah. So one thing I want to make sure that we're on the same page here. So continuous securing triple net lease at nine to 10 bucks a foot. That's awesome. Did you run the numbers on what the leasing commission would be on that? Yeah. You know, you're probably looking at not much, probably like seven or eight grand. It's nothing yeah, crazy. I think it might've been less. And, that, and that's another thing too. You never know. Cause I mean, technically if it's, if someone signs for 10 year, I mean, it's a lot more obviously. Right. 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 Than five. So I couldn't really, because my broker kind of insinuated this 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 guy he showed it to that they, unless he just gave me an example, he was thinking yeah if they you know sign for ten years, um, but he also talked to them about like they wanted to kind of move some like move, take a wall out or something too. Mm, I mean I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but they got to pay for it. <laughs> if they if they want to do the improvements, yeah yeah, yeah. want to improve the property like let them yeah. pay. For Maybe give them a discount on rent or something yeah. for you know a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So I I didn't really put that in the calculation because I wasn't sure exactly what you know what it would be if it's five you know three year or ten year lease or seven. All right. Here's a question. You mentioned that there's stuff in that building. Yeah. It was appraised at sixty grand. Yeah. All right. So I'm wondering here. So this eighty thousand. Would you basically like? Would you basically like borrow this from somebody? Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Like either my dad, that stuff, that equipment. Yeah, I mean that's, I mean shit, dude. I mean if you can go and sell that equipment even for fifty thousand bucks, you know. Yeah, that that's is. And I, honestly, I don't think it'll get sixty five, but even conservatively, yeah, I was thinking same thing. Like if I can get fifty, that'd be awesome. I mean even like forty five or. Um, or whatever that, it is, but you know your cash flow. So basically, twenty thousand bucks a year in cash flow. Yeah, you're going to be able to pay this guy back in three years. 
So it's your biggest question. Then it's like, okay, see, I would, is he, is he wanting a balloon payment? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if I'd amortize it, dude, I think I just do a loan and I'd say 7% interest only. That's what I would do. It's going to make your payment smaller. Yeah. That, and that's, and yeah. 25 year and for three years, you might pay down like, I mean, dude, you might pay down like three it's grand. Not a lot. It's not a lot. It was yeah. like 320 oh. down to 30. I think the, the balloon would be 306. So it's like maybe $14,000 or something. 14 grand. I, I just, you know, it depends on what your, what your goal is. Yeah. I mean, is it to keep holding it and refinance it into some permanent debt? Because if that's the case, you know, that's the plan. Yeah. To like, at, at you know, three years, you know, I owe him 305. I go to the bank, you know, get it appraised, cash out, refi, pay him off and then, you know, get, get some debt on it and then we're good. Well, it sounds like the opportunity here is if you can, if you've got a guy that will lend you 80 grand, you know, at 10% or whatever it mm-hmm. is. And you go and immediately sell that equipment. I think what the move would be, and you know that the cash flow is going to be 20 grand a year after yeah. you pay some costs and everything. And and after those 36 months, you're able to pay this guy back. I mean, you got you put 50,000 in your pocket right out of the gate if you can sell yeah. that equipment, maybe even more, maybe less. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you got cash in your pocket, so that can kind of float you some some holding costs like especially if this lease, if this building doesn't lease up and, you know, yeah, that's what I was kind of that's lease, which it yeah. might, not, I don't know, but uh, you can get some holding costs. You can, you know, pay the interest on the debt. Mm-hmm. And then when you do have that property leased up, I mean, again, with a three year balloon, man, I mean, you really, that that's just putting your back against the wall. You could refinance in 18 months if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, and I even thought about that. Like, if like, let's just yeah. say something crazy happens and interest rates, you yeah, know, get to like five and a half or six. I mean, I mean, you can save yourself. I mean, yeah, you know, let's say then it goes and appraises for five hundred thousand bucks, and you get a mortgage for four hundred. Right? You can pay off this loan. You can pay off this loan, and you've got the building with no money. It may not be yeah. cash flowing crazy, but you might yeah. be making eighteen grand a year or something, and it's like, hey, I've got a building that didn't cost me anything. I'm making 1500 bucks extra a month, you know, and you got some great depreciation. Yeah. And that, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I actually finance with a bank, like since it's seller financing, it's kind of not actually title transferred, right. In a way. Well, if it's seller financing and he's taking a mortgage on it, the deed transfers to you, you own it. Okay. You so own you the building and he, becomes, on that? he becomes a mortgager. Like he, he, he yeah. is now on the lending. He's on the debt side at that point. Okay. So if you, if you got abducted by aliens, he could foreclose and take the building back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I look at it and th- I mean, the deal doesn't look that bad. I, I would say the biggest kick right here that if you know, like, have you got your auction guy out there and got like a solid quote? He's like, Hey, you know, this yeah. is worth 65 or this is worth 50 or whatever. Like, that I didn't yet. Um, they did send, he did send me the um, appraisal from the third party that came in and appraised it at that price. So, okay. He did get someone to actually look at it. It wasn't just like, Hey, I'm thinking it's 65 grand. The okay. owner. So. Yeah. If you can find a way to get like your auction guy out there, like give yourself just 30 days of due diligence or something. And you can say, Hey, uh, you know, if you were to sell this stuff in your experience, like what can I walk with after I pay your commission? You know, what, what's my net out? And if they say you're looking at 50 grand of net, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And you can walk with that, with that money. Now make sure that that's in the deal, right? That's included where that seller is not like, Oh, I'm taking this stuff out before I leave. It's like, make sure that stuff is included in the deal. Like it's as is. Mm -hmm. And you can walk and you basically buy the building you know, you borrow 80 grand from somebody, you borrow the 320 from the seller, you put fifty thousand dollars in your pocket straight out of the gate. That yeah. puts you for a few months if you need to go release a space and retenant it. And then as the cash flow comes in, you're not really taking any of this, you're just paying back your your I mean, I think interest only on the seller on this 320, 
for how, you know, for, I'd go for like five years. If you can shoot for that at like 6%, okay. you follow back down to three years at 7%, like shoot for the shoot forward out of the gate, like 60 months, you know, 60 months. I kind of like using months when you're, when you're offering that, because for whatever reason, months just seem shorter than like 60 months seem shorter than five years for some reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. Eyes, you yeah. know, or ears. Like oh, six yeah. months, oh, it's not too bad. Sixty months versus like oh five. I gotta wait five years. It's the same thing, obviously. So it's like I just yeah. like using months when I'm talking about seller financing, and yeah. then I'd shoot at like five point, like some random percentage, like five point six five percent, something that's like a little random number, and then that just kind of gives you this like weird firepower that hey, you ran the math, and that's why, and this is how you came up with this random interest rate, you know just shows that you look like you did the math versus just throwing out some round number, you know, just shows that you, you, you're sophisticated. You did the math, you do this stuff all the time, you know, that kind of thing. And then on the 80 per, on the $80,000, I'd have like kind of, a, you know, he's going to probably, whoever this person is, okay. want to have, you know, maybe a higher down payment because okay. he's candidly taking a second position or a, or a higher interest rate. But if you know you're going to make 60 grand over, you know, basically $20,000 in cash flow, I mean, you take all that 20, I mean, now, now let me make sure I'm on the same page here with you. So now $4,000 a year, uh, uh, a month in income. Hey, sorry, I lost you for a second. Oh, can you hear me? Hey, I lost 30 seconds. So, yeah, I can hear you now. I lost you for that last 30 seconds. Okay. So I want to make sure that when we're saying the cash flow over three years, is that 62 grand in this bottom portion? Is that after debt service? Yeah. Okay. Did you include debt That's service? My, yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't. Cause honestly, this is going to be, this is probably going to be my dad. Okay. What's he going to want? Me the down payment. Honestly, he might not even want anything, you know, to be honest wow. with you. And that's awesome. And if anything, he, I don't know, give him two or 300 bucks a month or something just so he gets something. But that, I'm just assuming it's going to be nothing really, or a couple hundred bucks. So, wow. Shouldn't be huge. Well, that's great news then. I mean, if you got a guy that will do that, I mean, then you're yeah. in better shape, you know? Yeah. Maybe I draw thought... something up with him just to, just to yeah. make it warm and fuzzy, you know? Man, Gary, I don't know if it's me or if it's you. My, I've got good. I've got good. Um, so yeah, so I'm not really putting anything. In. It's it's me. Can you hear me? I'm I'm hiding in our basement office. I'm at the store, okay. so the service kind of sucks. Okay, down. yeah. I mean, I can hear you. It's just it's like a little. It's like a little choppy and spotty. I want to make sure I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, you've got you know principal and interest twenty two hundred bucks. I mean, as long as you can get that four thousand dollars a month of of net income. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, it, it looks like it could be a good deal. I mean, and it's, I, I think the biggest key is getting an appraisal done or getting that, not necessarily appraisal, but getting your like auction guy out there and being like, Hey, you do this all the time with this equipment. Like what is your gun to your head number on this? Yeah. And if you like, dude, I can get you 50 grand all day or whatever it is. Okay. If he says I can get you 50,000 all day long, well then you're just like, Perfect. I can put fifty thousand in my pocket when I close this deal, basically in like a month, yeah. and yeah. You've got someone else's money basically servicing debt. Mm -hmm. You know, so and then you can kind of play the interest rate game for like the next. You know, if they float down a little bit, you have the chance to refinance. Yeah, and take your dad back out, and you can walk with permanent debt, and you know, cash flow it. Mm -hmm. What's the, uh, what's the, what's the situation with the build out? Like you said, the tenant would need, like, do you know, have you had like a contractor's eyes on it or anything? Is it making sure like the roof's in good shape? Like, have you gotten your eyes on that? Oh yeah. It's, it's really, it's in great shape. The whole building, um, the roof's good. Nothing really. Well, if that's the case, man, dude, you know, if you like me, have done it on, um, I I could help you, you know, if you, I can draw up like a little response to this on like kind of an offer on how I would, how I would submit this. And if you're going to do it 
just with a like just you two, so there's no real estate agents. I would uh I mean I got like there, a there is a broker involved though. There's a broker involved. For you or for him? Well, it's 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 my he's the listing agent, my broker. Okay. Well then you can have then, then what, yeah. I'll, I'll 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 respond to you. I'll respond to this email with like the so, Vera, let me quick, tell you quick the, the 80 grand he he literally just wants 50 grand um but wants to like he's asking for that extra 30 to like pay his bro the, the broker for commissions hang on say that again I'm, I'm, you know what I mean so like he's 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 included so that 80 grand that I gave him he's gonna pay his broker the commission out of that okay that's that's kind of why he's asking for 80 grand. Like that's his number. Okay. The down payment. I mean, then that's awesome. I mean, here's the I mean, as long if there's a broker involved, then you can submit the terms and say, hey, this is Mr. Broker guy. Here's the LOI that I want. Here's the terms. Like, and then he can present that to to that guy. And I can and I can email you. Yeah. I can respond yeah. to yep. you with those um, you know. Yeah, could you send that'd be awesome if you can send me kind of something how you would um say it. That'd be awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice little space, dude. It's got a lot of yard. Here's a question too. As long as if it's a triple net that they're gonna be out there, um, you know, in charge of maintaining all the, you get this lot back here too? Yeah, that's a thing. You I don't know if I even thought about not not that no, not that lot. It that's yeah. It only goes like from the building maybe 20 feet. Okay. That way, that lot is already, that's another plot of land. So like, right, yeah, right there, you can see that, see the grass, how it changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, thought even like stoning that up and fencing it too, or I don't know what you can do with that land or. So it stops. So yeah, like, this is the other parcel right here? Yeah, yep. All right. So this is all your land. I mean, I mean, I don't know. You might have some, you could do maybe some gravel or something and do like some outside storage, but that's, you know is is it it's almost kind of is the juice worth the, worth the squeeze you know yeah, like it's not enough land really and it's kind of weird shape right where it's yeah yeah i mean i wouldn't do too much to it right now i mean it looks like it's in, i mean it looks like it's in decent shape like really nice shape actually yeah it's, nice it was floors, everything spot, it was spotless inside like the guy really kept it no, well this is, i mean this is awesome dude. i mean nice little office yeah i mean dude yeah let me do this i i have an idea i what i'll do is just what we just talked about. I'll respond to this email here with Perfect. just like how I would present this offer, the terms, and I'll even do the little math on in it. And that yeah. way you can, that way you can like see here, this is how the math's going to check out. This is how the, the, the work, the, the math's going to work and how that guy's going to get paid and how you can make money on it too. Perfect. That's that'd be you awesome. Just man. submit that to that broker. And say this is what I want to do. This is the hill I'm willing to die on. Like let's okay. let's do this deal at these at these terms. Okay. Yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Is that good? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Cool. All right. Well, then that's what I'll do. I'll get working on this, and I'll get this over to you here in like 15 minutes. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully your six million dollar deal goes goes well today. That's freaking awesome. Oh man, dude, it's I'm telling you, man. What like, is that massive? Like a massive warehouse? It's like. So it's it's just an opportunity to I won't dive into it yet because we're still like working it, but we're I meet with my banker this afternoon to go over terms and everything. But basically yeah. this these guys have a building already, they've got a land next to it. They want to develop that and kind of have Birmingham as their little hub for their business. And they yeah. want to go and in the development on that's going to be about three million dollars. And I'm buying the other building, the existing space right now for 2.5 million. And then the opportunity later on is they want to expand to like 50 more sites in Southeast and we're negotiating the right, but not the obligation to go and site their next, you know, location and then yeah. develop their space Damn. all over. Yeah. So it could be like, it could be crazy. So we'll see. Yeah. That's awesome. So I'll keep you guys in the loop on it. We'll see if I can make it happen or not, but um, you know, the efforts there. Yeah. Awesome, man. So, well, dude, I'll get on this right now, man. I'll shoot cool. an email to you. All just right, man. Well, I'll let you go. I appreciate that. Oh, dude, of course. Anytime, man.
So holler if anything changes, dude. And good luck, and I'll let you go. I'll, I'll I'll send this over to you now. Okay, thanks, brother. All right, man. See you, Gary.